Here with Ange Gilardi, a multi-titled holder, four times Australian bodybuilding champion and a holder of over 15 world bench press records, a great power lifter and a great bodybuilder. Ange has come straight from the beach, folks. He's been up in Thailand, tanning up, pumping up, getting ready for muscle TV. We're going to take him through an arm workout today to show you how to get those guns for when you hit the beach. Our first exercise is tricep pushdowns. We want to get some blood into the triceps. We're going to superset that with biceps. We'll show you as we go. Let's go, Ange. Give me 15 reps, full range of motion. Now you'll see, folks, at the bottom of the movement, Ange actually holds still for at least two seconds, and this is what forces a muscle to flex. Where a lot of people go wrong with their triceps is they just bounce their way through the set. They never actually flex, and they never actually feel the muscle that they're training. We've warmed up the triceps, and now we're going to warm up the biceps, the other half of the arm. Ange, give me 15 reps with this, and once again, squeeze at the top of the movement. It's the exact opposite of what we just did with triceps, folks. With the triceps, we locked out at the bottom. With the biceps, we stretch at the bottom, but we lock out at the top. One, two. Now, a lot of people never feel their biceps. They swing the bar up and down, they swing the bar up and down, but they never actually feel the bicep. The way Andrew's training, folks, is how to force your mind into the muscle. You'll see he locks his arms out at the bottom, he pauses, pushes his elbows forward, and then squeezes at the top of the movement. We've put the weights up, and now we're going to lower the reps a little bit. We'll just do 10 this time, Ange. Full range of motion, and stop at the bottom of the movement. The other thing you might want to be aware of, folks, is where your wrists are at. It's important to keep your wrist straight, particularly at the bottom of the movement. You'll see when Ange gets to the bottom, not only does he lock his tricep out, but his wrist stays straight. Now we're going to move into a working set on the biceps. We've done our warm-ups, Ange, so let's do 10 reps. And, folks, a couple of other things we can point out to you as you go. As we said, you've got to squeeze your arms at the top. You've got to straighten them at the bottom. So going through that motion, he straightens his arms at the bottom, actually flexes his tricep, and you'll notice that his wrists once again stay still. He's pointing the weight up towards the roof, and more importantly, he's leaning forward slightly. It's time for our third and final set of tricep pushdown. The reason we do supersets, folks, is to force the blood from one muscle to the other. This way you don't get any rest and you get a maximum pump. And just pumped already, folks. It's just his third set of pushdowns and you'll see the muscles are starting to bulge, full of blood, getting a fantastic pump in the triceps. It's because the muscle hasn't stopped working. Let's go straight to that bar curl. And just going to perform 10 very strict, slow and deliberate reps with this, teaching you folks at home how to put your mind in your muscle. The next set of exercise we're going to do for tries and buys is skull crushes or lying tricep extension with an inclined dumbbell curl. The reason we do the tricep first is because there's three heads to the tricep and just two to the bicep. Now we're going to to come right down to his forehead to push back towards me slightly and to lock at the top. Come down to your forehead, just basically the elbows have to stay in, this, in one spot. That's perfect. We'll have an extra long lockout on the last one just to make sure we're feeling it. Well done, Ange. Straight to your dumbbell curl, so there's no chance to rest. Ange comes up, squeezes, down, forces his elbows forward, gets a good lock, and down. Now, I find with this one, folks, if you keep the dumbbells facing forward, it really keeps the emphasis on your bicep. So rather than twisting and turning them, trying to worry about hitting different angles of the bicep, just try and get your maximum effect through stretch and flex. Now, Ange is getting a terrific pump here, folks, because he's forcing his mind into his muscle. You'll see at the top of the movement, the biceps are starting to really peak, really fill up with blood, and he's starting to really feel it. Righto, Ange, we're ready to go again. I've chosen a slightly heavier weight because he did that fairly easy. And let me explain that to you, folks. Give me another 10 reps, Ange. You've got to try and choose a weight, folks, that ensures you're just out of steam at the end of the set. If you're doing forced reps and you need assistance, then it's probably too heavy. If you've got lots left in the tank, it's too light. Great set. We're going to move straight now to your dumbbell curl. Now, even though Ange is super strong, folks, this kind of training where you're doing supersets and training non-stop is really hard work. You'll see he's starting to sweat and he's starting to breathe heavier because you just don't rest with this kind of work. Keep your head back, Ange. Stay up straight. Well done, mate. One set to go. Here we are with a slightly heavier weight. Ange is well capable of this. So we're just going to do eight reps, try and load the muscle up a little bit. Now, for those of you that aren't as experienced as Ange Scalati, I'd suggest you go the other way and use a lighter weight and do a few more reps. Now, we've done the same thing with your dumbbell curl, Ange. I've put the weight up a little bit. We're on 15 kilos now. I want you to really hold your head back, stick your chest out, stretch your muscles at the bottom, squeeze them at the top, and give me eight of the best reps you've got, Ange. Have a look at these biceps, folks. Some of the best biceps in Australia. He's a four times Australian champion, and you can really see, one, the peak at the top of the movement, and you can see the split in the bicep at the bottom of the movement. You'll see here, he's got a split right down the middle, which shows the form of the bicep, and then when he gets to the top, it flexes and peaks. 
He's starting to really feel it now, and we've still got one lot of exercises to go. Well done, Ange. Our third and final tricep exercise is really going to get Ange pumped. This is one of my favourites, folks, because it isolates the triceps and forces you to flex them. Let's go, Ange. Now, we're going to up the reps a little bit because we love to shock the muscle on Muscle TV. Give me 20 reps, Ange. OK, with this one, folks, what we're trying to do is keep your hands apart. They never touch. We're trying to get a good stretch at the back of the movement like this. And you've got to keep your elbows slightly tucked in so they don't sprawl out all over the place. Lock. That's perfect. You can go a bit faster with this. When you know you've got a high rep set, you can burst into them a little bit more. Angie's doing that pretty easily. Great set. 18, 19. On your last one, I want you to hold it. 20. And hold it for five, four, three, two, one. Great set. Great set, Ange. Our next exercise here for biceps is a preacher curl. When Ange positions himself, you'll see that the bench is tight under his arms. It's actually snug under here. And what we don't want you doing, folks, is pivoting off your elbow. You've really got to work on being tight over that bench, almost slumping into it. And stop at the top of the movement again. Stretch at the bottom again. Stop again at the top. This is forcing you to put your mind in your muscle, folks. Without that, you've got nothing. Now you take a 30-second break and do it all over again. I want you to hold this one up, hold it at the top, and squeeze, and squeeze, and squeeze. Well done. One set to go. We normally put the weight up one pin at a time, but because it's Ange Galati, we're going to go the whole stack. Let's do it, Ange. Give me eight reps. And here he goes with his eight reps. Come on. Great set. Great set, Ange. 